Today we're looking at Feedly, a popular feed aggregating app that makes it easy to follow your favorite online news sources, including online newspapers, blogs, and even YouTube channels. Feedly is available on iOS, Android, Kindle, and a web app, but today we're going to poke around the iPad version. Feedly offers you several different ways to log in, including using your social accounts. But for those of you who would rather keep your app separate, there is also an option to register a free account with Feedly. Feedly would be a bit bare when you sign in for the first time, but I've already populated mine with my favorite feeds, so I'm greeted with the most recent headlines that I haven't yet reviewed. Click on the magnifying glass in the top right corner to start populating your Feedly with content. Feedly has blogs organized by content area if you feel like exploring them, otherwise you can use the search bar at the top to find a specific feed. Many of the most popular blogs will appear when you search the blog's name, but you can also input the URL to get exactly the page you're looking for. If you're wanting to follow us here at Blurt, and why wouldn't you, Feedly makes it easy. Clicking on the blog you want to read will load that feed's most recent material. Just click on the plus sign next to the search icon to begin following the site in your Feedly. Once the site's been added, Feedly will give you an indication. Clicking on topic areas under the search utility will show you the names of sites you might want to follow, but that may or may not tell you much about if you like their content. The Explore function on the main menu is the answer to this dilemma. These pages will show you the most popular content in certain topic areas across different sources. You can choose to follow the sources of the articles you like, or use this function like a magazine. Taking that idea one step further, Feedly recently introduced the concept of curated lists. Here you can see what sources subject experts, such as Arthur, are following, and choose to follow all or specific sites that they follow. When it comes to actually reading all this content you finally gathered in one place, Feedly gives you a few different options. Here you see the most basic reading view. Feedly strips out all the fat and just gives you that sweet, sweet text. Or you can choose to view the, the article as it appears on the website itself. From here, it's incredibly easy to share content that you love or move the article through your own personal workflow by sending on to Pocket or Evernote. You can share to Facebook, send via email, or you can save it for later within the Feedly app. If that bright white look is too much for your eyes or you're eating in bed and don't want to disturb your partner, Feedly allows you to turn off the lights by switching the theme. This will set all of the app backgrounds to black, including the reading view. Feedly also makes it incredibly easy to keep your news sources organized by letting you file them into custom categories. You can see here that I have categories for life, sports, and work. Though my own personal habits tend to see me viewing all my lists together, it is handy to be able to keep things separated by context. When you're viewing the articles from your feed or any particular source, Feedly offers a couple different ways to organize things visually. Here you see the feed for one of my favorite blogs, The Art of Manliness. This view shows me a headline, a small snippet, as well as a photo. Alternatively, I can lose the images and see only text, or go the other way and lose the snippet and see only photos and headlines. All in all, Feedly is a very powerful and useful app that can be further enhanced through the use of hundreds of third-party apps. Gone are the days of needing to visit dozens of separate websites to see what's new, now it all comes straight to you on virtually any platform. If you're watching this Blurt on the Blurt app, you'll be able to scroll back through my pages and zoom in, out, or move around to have a better look at what I've shared. Thanks for watching.